Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludovox and we are on the Holy Grail booth with Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's the second day of the show. Uh, we've seen amazing things and it never ceases. And we have Syndicate, True City. Oh, that's our board here. So um, it's a game that is in development. It's not out yet, but for how many players is it? So the version we have here, this is uh, the two-player version, but there will also be a version for three or four players as well in the final version, which is essentially two uses of the base game. So this is a game that's going to be on, on Kickstarter, I think. That's right, yes. It's, it's going to be on Kickstarter in Q1 2018. Uh, when do you expect the game to be delivered? Well, we're hoping that it'll be delivered around about um, six, eight months after the Kickstarter. Um, I mean, with our Kickstarters in Holy Grail Games, we try not to kickstart them too early. You know, we want it to be as complete as possible when we go to the Kickstarter. So what's the narrative of the game? What's the, the universe? So this is set in the sort of near future, cyberpunk kind of future, um, like Blade Runner or, or uh, something like that. You play a corporation in this game, and you're trying to take control of a city for the purposes of making a lot of money, basically. And you do that by sending your agents out into the city to basically fight and die for your uh, right to make a lot of cash. So we win by having the most cash? That's right. So each zone on the board is worth a certain amount of money. And by controlling the zones, we move all the way up the track towards winning when we have $12 billion, basically. So what, we do, what do we do in a turn? How do we advance uh, our agents and troops on the board? So at the beginning of the game, you start off with a hand of four uh, randomly drawn agents. Okay? Each turn, you have an action. You can also then deploy an agent. And then you draw another one from your reinforcements. So if it was my first turn, for example, I might put that down and then draw something from my reinforcements. To control a zone, I need to have more influence in that zone than my opponent. So in this situation here, for example, I would control this zone, and therefore I would be getting the three billion dollars worth there and moving up the track, okay? My opponent is trying to stop me from gaining influence in zones, um, kill off my agents, and generally prevent me from expanding across the board, and I'm trying to do the same to them. The game, uh, the turns, your turns, are not so long, but there are a lot of reactive abilities. So in a lot of the time, you're taking control of the game world in your opponent's turn. You're trying to take it from them while they're trying to take it from you. How do you do that? How do you react to, uh, I don't know, someone taking over or trying to take over a district? So I'll give you a good idea about how that works. There's a very, uh, let's find the detective, okay? So the detective, when he gets deployed, we see him here, he gets deployed face down, okay? When my opponent places someone in the same zone as the detective on their turn, I can then react, I can intercept them by revealing the detective, putting influence down and peeking at what they've deployed, okay? Because now I have more influence in the zone, I have two and they have none because face down characters don't count as any, I've now taken control of the zone on their turn, okay? But if my opponent had, say for example, Let's find a reporter already in the zone. The reporter could react to me putting influence in there by flipping over themselves and using her ability. She stops me putting that down and instead puts more down here. So they've reacted to my reaction and taken control of Chinatown. And I've sort of exhausted my ability to do so fruitlessly. Okay, And that's kind of the back and forth nature of the game. So how, don't, how long does the game last? I mean, it seems like really short, like 10... 20 minutes, like really tense? Well, the thing that the, about the game that I think is uh, is quite interesting is that it can, it, 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 for a two-player game, it, it can be 10, 15 minutes, but some games can last longer, you know, tw up to 25, 30 minutes. And it depends when two tactical players are facing off and they're both bluffing and double bluffing and being cunning, you can really get quite close. And one thing we notice is that the scores, they change over quite a lot. You don't see one game where someone just calls the way to the end, okay? There's a lot of back and forth. And certainly in the larger three, four player games, you tend to see more like 40, 45 minutes. And that can be quite a lot of mind games, you know, bluffing, what's that token? Should I deploy him here? Should I go there instead? All that kind of thing. Um, I see that we have like, um, well, the board seems modular, even though the, it is a yes. table here. Yes, that's correct. So the board is modular. 
um, it will come in card form. So you lay it out at the beginning of the game. Another important thing is we have these for the demo version, these five characters, but the full version of the game will have many more. Uh, definitely uh, 12, maybe up as much as 20. And um, at the beginning of the game, you shuffle that deck, you lay out five characters, and every player then has those five characters. So they are balanced, you have the same abilities, so there's a tactical challenge there, but it means that each game is quite different. So in some games, you have uh, your mech pilots and your samurais and your cyborgs, there's a lot of action, and in some, it's more reporters and detectives and, uh, and hackers, so it's a little bit more low-key and a bit more strategic in that sense. Okay, um, so... I think there are going to be, to be a lot of stretch goals uh, in, in, in the Kickstarter. So probably new characters, probably improvements for the, the overall material. Um, do you expect uh, a release, a retail release? Well, we are looking to move into uh, distributing as well as just going through the Kickstarter path. Um, at the moment, what we're focusing on this game is making sure that the Kickstarter is um, very high quality. But at the same time, this is not a game that we want to be physically massive or, or, over, or, or very expensive. You know, there will be stretch goals to bring in more characters, but we're looking at a price point of around about 20 euros. And we want to stick to that because certainly for a two-player game, um, as a travel game, you don't want to be spending, you know, vastly over that. But, you know, as for 20 euros is, is pretty reasonable for, you know, between the two of you taking on holiday or perhaps something like that. 20 minutes, half an hour of a game, you know, and then you can get a lot of different replays out of it. So I think, you know, that's what we're going for with this. Thank you, Andrew, for that overview of Syndicate's True City and see you on the box. Bye bye.